All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my legs. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the show. Sure. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for Ladies the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Hazardous. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Ty Bam Bam to Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. You ready? Each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's gonna be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, heavy kick to that lead leg. That'll leave a mark. He's giving him so many different things right now. All right, single collar tie now. Shot is blocked there by Tui Vasa. 
vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Midway through round one. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Beautiful punch. Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, the right... It's gonna be over what a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice punch, Lance. To Ivasa gets stung by that leg kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Big kick. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Whiffs on that offering. Round two is next. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Visibly limping here. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, wow! Head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Good punch, Lance. And now he's got that tie clinch. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice. Oh! in a world of trouble now. They say the straight boots are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, big left. Can't take many of those, you better check. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Caught the kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Effective punch there by Tai Tuivasa. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Right hand punch. Oh, big knee. Oh, big knee. 
Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. that kick there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC, a lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice strike. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Nice leg kick land. Single collar tie now. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, nice oh. And that will do it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, nine seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout. Well, we nice. congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. Some things that I know will not fill my needs. I have a dose of what I've achieved and get lonesome and I critique who I am and what I believe make up standing.